What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so it looks like to me we are back in badge mode, meaning, yes, we need to go. Yeah, we need to go earn some more badges. Well, one more to be exact. And, well, the crew is back together again. We got ourselves Shocker, Tornado, Ultra Psycho. You know, we got these Pokemon right here. Don't quote me on this, guys. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Oh, he's going to use this for the Pokemon Elite Four. No, not really. I'm still thinking on it. I have a training regiment ready for them. Kind of sounds like uh, me and my personal training and all that stuff, but... We got a uh, we got something ready for them when we uh when we play uh when we go straight to the Pokemon League and all that crud. And well, as you guys can see, we're gonna be battling everybody right here. And looking at yes, Jerome, you have been defeated. Speedo Torpedo never wins. Yeah. So I'm already thinking of what kind of team I'm gonna go into the Pokemon Elite for, and uh, I don't know. This is the first one. Eventually, I'm going to be using every single Pokemon I captured and just win the Elite Four and everything and all that crud. Whenever I can. Different combinations and all that stuff. So here we go, take it on Roland. And he does have himself a Poliwhirl. And we're going to go with a Fury Attack. Look at that. Okay, so let's go with Ultra Psycho. How's it going? Let's go with the Psychic Attack. There we go. And there it is, Tornado. Going with the Fly Attack yet again. And yes, you got to love the fact that we get poisoned so easily. Never learned. But yes, uh, I am thinking of a Pokemon team right now. And it's probably going to be centered around a Legendary. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But we're thinking about it, guys. We're trying to be a little bit as... We're trying to be as balanced as possible and all that crud. While I'm doing the training to get to the final stages of the Elite Four, it is very important to... Yeah, it's very important to figure out what exactly it is that, you know, what kind of strategy I'm going to go in there, because they will be strong. I know that the levels are a little mod- or they're going to be modified. Actually, they're going to be very modified. Not like in the original versions and all that stuff where they're at damn near level 60s. That's later. But right now? Yes, we're just trying to figure it out. So, let's go right ahead and take on a Fisherman, and yes, he's going to be coming out with his good old Pokemon right here. Look at that. And, Shocker. It's been a while. Shockwave for the win. But kids grows to level 39. And, well, as you guys already noticed, most of my Pokemon are barely scratching the surface on level 40. So, yes, there will be a... There will be a crap ton of training going on. And, well, here we have Claude. Psychic Attack. There we go. And... Well, let's go with Shocker. Let's go with Shockwave. And just like that, we have defeated him. Now, I I think... Yeah, it's about two episodes ago where I... Well, I actually showed you guys where you can actually grind before the Pokemon League. Um, pretty sure it's a pretty good spot right there for you guys if you want to do it. It will take a while, but it does get the job done. If you can get your Pokemon up to level 50 around that time... That is uh, that is big props to many of you guys right there. And, well, I'm going to be healing up the Pokemon right here. Let's go right ahead and battle. And these guys have some pretty good Pokemon right here. So let's go with that. And let's go with uh, Fury Attack right there. And, well, we're going to get confused. Let's go with a Reflect and go Fury Attack. Fury Attack again. Actually, let's, let's not do that. Call Mine, Fury Attack. And just like that, we win. Yes. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and find some more Pokemon trainers to, you know, bother and all that stuff. This guy is probably the guy with the Gyaradoses and all that crud. So, no, actually the Magikarps. The pre-Gyaradoses. And, well, it was almost there. There we go. And Tornado. Let's go right ahead and fly. And continue on with Tornado right here. And well, let's go with Shocker. Shockwave attack for the win. And look at that. Now, I'm almost thinking that, you know, maybe I should be strategic, or maybe I should just have a powerhouse team. I do have Pokemon that can't be considered powerhouses and all that stuff. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling a uh, powerhouse, but, you know, many of you guys want to see me all strategic and all that stuff. And here's the Magikarp guy. All right, let's go ahead and waste Shark Waves. Yeah. Should probably do that. Go all strategic and all that stuff. At probably level 45 or so. I don't know. Kind of seems like a huge 
like a, a huge disservice to myself if I if I'm going under leveled it on this stuff. I don't know. I have pulled some miracles. Okay, so here it is, the very end of this whole adventure, going into Pallet Town. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon at my house. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so here we are back and well, let's go right ahead and fly to Viridian City. Vermilion or Viridian? Yeah, it's Viridian City. And, well, let's see. The last gym leader is back. I can tell you this, he is a ground type trainer. And the Pokemon you're gonna be needing, yeah, you're gonna be needing some water types, and quite possibly some flying types if you're going up against a, uh, what you would call a fighting type in there. So let's go right ahead and enter this gym. And as you guys can see, the only man that's ever believed in this is gonna be like, yo, champ in the making. Even I don't know the Viridian, uh, the Viridian leader's identity, but one thing's certain: this will be the toughest of all gym leaders. Also, I heard that the trainers here like ground type Pokemon or ground-like Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Tornado first, and go into the battle. Now, if these switches, these panels right here, don't get you kind of thinking like who the next gym leader will be, then I don't know what to tell you, homeboy. I don't. So here we are taking on Tamer Cole, and he's gonna be coming out with some, uh, yeah, pretty interesting Pokemon right here, Arbok. And, well, let's go ahead and fly. Fly again, fly one more time, and there we go, Tornado, kicking some butt, and here, here we have a Tauros. Now, my biggest beef with many of these games is there's not a lot of trainers that use Tauros. Tauros is such a, such a valuable Pokemon. It's a very, <laughs> better yet, it's it, it's such a, it's such a useful Pokemon. It's just I, I even I don't use it, but still I acknowledge the fact that it's a very useful Pokemon. And yes, you got Whiplash, homeboy. Okay, so who's next? Like Goldbrook said, who's next? And here we have a fighting type trainer, I believe. Karate is the ultimate form of martial arts. Is it? Is it really? Let's go ahead and find out. And, well, here we go, taking on Keo. And he's coming out with his Machoke, level 43. So this should be an easy battle right here. Let's go fly attack, and here comes a vital throw. That wouldn't have been good, so here we go, fly attack. And that nearly defeats Machoke right there. And that vital throw is nearly going to make us faint right there. Holy crud. Yeah, that is a very strong fighting type move. Here we go. Fly attack for the win. There you go. That's right. Tornado for the win. And Big Booty Buck is, of course, mooching off the levels of our, all our Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead. So right here, and let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Ultra Psycho, see what he has to do, and bam. Viridian Gym was closed for a long time, but now our leader is back. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, taking on Cool Trainer Samuel, and well, he's, he definitely has that, those, uh, you know, those ground type Pokemon. So here he's going to be coming out with a Sand Slash, so let's go with the logical choice. Surf Attack for the win, and Surf Attack, another win. And here he's coming out with a Nidorino, so let's go straight for Ultra Psycho. Psychic Attack. And there we go, look at this, we're just cleaning house. That guy was probably the strongest out of all of them, so far. Okay, so let's move on right here now. Funny thing too, this is the only gym that will actually give you a healing item. Yeah, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, there used to be a healing item right here, a revive. Yeah, that was in the old versions right there. So let's go right ahead and battle. <laughs> you must be running out of steam by now. Nope, not really. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on Yuji. Or Yuhi. Not Yugi. Yuji. And, well, let's go Psych Attack. This guy is going to kick. <laughs> He's trying to keep his Pokemon right there. So he's coming out with a Graveler. Let's go straight for Leonardo. And there we go. We're gonna clean house with Surf Attacks. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Coming out with a Marowak. Not gonna survive. And look at that. We win. All right, who's next? Roar! I'm working myself into a rage. Wow. That What kind of a rage is that? So here is a fighting type trainer at Sushi. 
He does have the sushi somewhere, but I don't know where. So let's go Psychic Attack. Psychic Attack, and just like that, we have defeated at sushi. I, I expect sushi. Actually, I can't eat sushi, guys. I, <laughs> well, I can only eat certain sushis. I don't really know much about sushis. I am allergic to shrimp, so yeah, that's probably going to be a big issue right there. So there you go, guys. You know my weakness. All right, let's go. Psychic attack for the win. And yes, you are in perfect harmony. Yes, we are. Okay, so let's see. We got two more trainers, right? Yes, we do have two more trainers. The truly talented Witty with style. Hmm. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on Warren. And he has five Pokemon right here. Definitely enough. And, well, look at this. We do not have another move. Actually, that's probably going to be our problem right there. So let's go ahead and give an Ether to... Let's see. There we go. And he's going to heal up his Pokemon. Calm Mind. Psych attack. There we go. Boost it up. We're going to clean house right here with Ultra Psycho. Level 40. Yes, we are. Look at that. You know what? We're going to clean house. There it is. You gave us one one call mine, and that right there does it for everybody. And it looks like to me, Budkus has grown to level 42. Let's go right ahead and take that experience share right there and give it to Tornado because it seems like the Pokemon that's, you know, bound to have a little issue with trying to get to level 40 right here. So let's see, experience share, give me that, and give it to Tornado right here, and well, let's see, let's go ahead and switch it out, get Tornado a little bit more, um, a little bit more battle time right here, so let's see, give that full restore straight to Tornado, and there we go. Okay, so let's go right ahead and battle this Karate King guy. I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. Oh, wow. Really? Alrighty, so here we go, guys. Taking on Karate King uh, Takashi. And no, not the shitty, not the shitty rapper Takashi69. No, this is an actual, a very, very good person, a very, very good trainer and all that stuff. So here he comes out with a uh, Vital Throw, but Vital Throw gets beat. And wow. Okay, so we gotta we gotta sweet we gotta speed speed up this whole thing. So he's gonna be coming out with a Machop, and we go to level 39. So we're gonna be switching out our Pokemon to Shocker. Go straight for this guy, and Takashi has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So let's go right ahead and move on right here. And I guess we got one more trainer left. And bam. Okay, so before we do anything, guys. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. It's always a big plus right here. So, Hyper Potion, Hyper Potion, and Hyper Potion. Okay, so, to me, it looks like we're going to be sweeping house with Ultra Psycho. I have that feeling. So, let's go right ahead and see who the next trainer is. And look at this. It's none other than our good old buddy himself, Giovanni. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding anything back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Well, it had to be this way, guys. It really did. You guys already know what I'm going to say. It's time stamped right here. I love this song. Alrighty, guys. So here it is, our final gym battle, and it's against leader Giovanni. And, yes, he does have some ground-type Pokemon at the upwards of level freaking 40. Call mine! We're going to be strategic right here. We're going to destroy everybody with special attack and special defense. This guy is going to be using his, uh, you know, ability to put me to sleep or... No, no, no. To slow me down just a little bit. Let's go with a Reflect because, yes, we are weak against physical attacks right here. And, well, we're down four levels on... Uh, on our speed right here so because of that we're still faster than this guy but the rest of the other Pokemon are probably gonna be yeah they're gonna be a little bit uh, a little bit faster than us that depends on what Pokemon we're gonna be taking on and well here he's gonna be coming out with a Doug trio yeah I am NOT risking that let's go straight for Leonardo 
As many of you guys already know, Dugtrio is a very, very fast, it's probably one of the fastest Pokemon out here, so here's Dugtrio. Eat this surf. Uh yes. Look at that. Alrighty, and yes, we are be we are protected by the reflect. So there we go. Get some more experience points. And here he's gonna be coming out with a Nido Queen. I'm gonna stay right here with Leonardo. How's it going, Nido Queen? Time to eat this surf. Okay. Surf attack. Does it sting? Say goodbye to the Nido Queen. And well. <laughs> Okay, look at this. Leonardo grows the level 48. And we're going to be taking on the Nido King right here. Okay, bring it. Let's go. Surf attack. And it looks like to me. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're kicking ass. We are kicking big, big booty. Not big booty, but kiss. And he's going to be coming out with a Rhyhorn. So. This level 50 Rhyhorn is a special one because, well, he knows Earthquake. Well, everybody knows Earthquake, but it probably has Horn Drill. So, just like that, we have defeated Rhyhorn. Tornado grows to level 40, finally! And it's learning Drill Pack. This is a very special move for this Pokemon because this right here, it's a little bit more powerful than uh, Fly, so we're going to take away uh, Fury Attack right here. And just like that, Tornado has learned Drill Peck. And, well, there it is, guys. We have defeated Giovanni. Ha! <laughs> that was a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I'm throwing out that peace sign. Alrighty. Well, we earned a billion dollars. Not really. But 10,000 Poke Dollars. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for you, your Pokemon League challenge. And yes, we get ourselves a TM26. This is Earthquake. It is a powerful attack that causes massive tremor. I made it when I ran this gym here far long ago. Hmm, really? Now, the final dialogue is going to be a little chilling because, well, shoot, we already know what happens later. Haven't lost, haven't lost in this fashion. I cannot face any of my followers. I have betrayed their trust. As of today, Team Rocket is finished forever. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to training again. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. And just like that, he disappears in thin air. Gym Leader Draven has risen again. This looks pretty good. Believe it or not, guys, there is a game that <laughs> I'm looking at that actually can fulfill this experience. Yeah, the Gym Leader game. So, we have won our 8th badge. We are feeling very, very heavy. And this guy's like, blow me away! Giovanni was the Gym Leader at the very end. Yes, it was. Yes, he was. Okay. We're feeling heavy. We're feeling awesome. There is one more thing that we need to do, guys. And, well... That is go straight to Route 120 or Route 22 because I really don't want to. I really don't want to do this in the next episode. I got stuff to do, guys. I'm a very, very busy man. And well, I think we need to uh, take care of this problem before you know it becomes an issue. Here it is, Route 22. Gary, he's like, what? Draven? What a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Draven, as a warm up for the Pokemon League. Come on! Okay, so here it is, guys. The next battle against Gary. And again, you know, he's acting like a cocky, you know what? He's coming out with his Pidgeot. And yes, he is a uh, buffed up his Pokemon. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take care of the situation right here with a Thunder Wave. Yeah, that's right. We paralyze you. Let's go with a Shockwave, and yes, you cannot move, you a-hole Pokemon, you. So here we go, Shockwave attack. For the win, maybe. And that was super effective. So let's go again, and yes, yes, the Poke Gods are thankful for us, so we're going to go with a Shockwave attack. And just like that, Pidgeot has been defeated. Yeah, fur. okay, look at that, and... 
Well, he's going to be coming out with a Rhyhorn. Let's go straight for a Leonardo right here. Now, as we're doing this, guys, I am thinking of a team that I'm going to try and go into the Pokemon League. Now, one big thing is that I do not, I do not like using the same Pokemon my rival is using. It, it, it's, it's, it just bugs me. It really does. Why do they? Why must they have the best Pokemon? I don't know. That's probably it's probably part of the game right here. But the next episode, you're going to be seeing quite a few changes. I am going to be grinding the butt crack out of this. All right. And holy crud! This guy is at level 53. Level 53. That is scary. So yes, we're going to be leveling up like crazy, trying to get our Pokemon up to level 50 at least. And, uh, yes, you are burnt. Yes, I am the strongest trainer here. And here he comes with a growth. Pokemon are going to be... I think the Pokemon that I'm going to try and choose are going to be... I want to try, try and get them all to be... Not... I kind of want them to be dual types. Most of them, because, you know, I want them to cover everything that I got. And, well, he's coming out with a Gyarados. As many of you guys already know, he has Gyarados. That really irks me because it's like this is a this is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, and he has it. Yeah. So no, not a lot of monotypes. This guy has level 45. Holy crud! All right, let's go with a Shockwave. I'm gonna try and see what I can do with the other Pokemon that I have on my PC that will eventually come out and help me out right here in this adventure. Uh, eventually, yes, I do want to finish off this game with having at least maybe three Pokemon from the Johto region or from the Hoenn region. You know, kind of want to show it off that, you know, hey, I did a little extensive training, if you know what I mean. And look at this. Shocker grows to level 41. And Tornado is going to levels 2. Here he's going to be coming with a Growlithe. Yes, you guys already know. Him having a Growlithe is kind of like a... Kind of making me mad, cause uh, yeah. Kind of wanted to use butt kiss right here. So let's go with uh, let's go with a dig attack. Hopefully this Pokemon doesn't evade this uh, this move. Hell, he has uh, what's his name? He has Alakazam. So yeah, we got <laughs> we got quite a few things to cover. And because Growlithe used agility, he can use two moves. And well, there we go. Let's go right ahead and go with the rock slide. And here comes Flame Wheel. And yes, that will cut our that will cut that will cut our power in half. And wow. That could have defeated him. Of course, yes, we are Yeah, we 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 we, we kinda need a two or three more moves. This guy hits himself with a recoil, so this might actually help. So here comes a rock slide attack, and just like that, look at this, Growlithe defeated. Okay, and well, here he comes out with an Alakazam. I gotta find a real good Pokemon to actually beat it. So let's go, Tornado. See if we can use that. Uh... Let's see if we can actually use the which I'ma call it attack, the Drill Peck attack. This Pokemon scary mainly because well of that. And oh my lord, yes. Alakazam, you can be a butthole all you want, but I'm going to yell with Leonardo right here. Now, I do have a Pokemon in my team, not in my team, I should say, in my PC that I desperately want to use. And it might might come to fruition, mainly because, yeah, that you know, I, I've been meaning to use it, I know where to train it, and, oh, look at that, it tried to disable me. And it could help my team in the long run going into the Pokemon League, and look at that, Alakazam defeated... And Leonardo, you have won again. What? I was just careless, you. Mmm, you're careless. Okay. That was me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Draven, you need more practice. But hey, you know that. I'm out here. I'm out of here. Smell you later. Flipping you off, man. I am flipping you off. Even after we defeat him, he's just he's just an ass. Okay, so. Don't be too surprised, guys, if we come out with some brand new Pokemon onto the next team. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of grinding. And on top of that, which whatever money we earn, hopefully a lot, we will be buying some new items and hopefully powering up, bo boosting up our, our team. So stay tuned, guys. You do not want to miss the next episode. Yeah, we're going to be grinding like nobody's business. Hopefully, uh, 
hopefully it'll be successful and everything like that so thank you guys again for being patient thank you guys for watching liking commenting all that stuff i'm very thankful guys if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel the heart button's right there this keeps the lights on right here i will be back for another episode of our pokemon fire red walkthrough see you guys